Hello and welcome to The Smallscape on Saturday. Today's video is a most requested video for me to do a walkabout at the Dollar Tree. I did, but I'm gonna warn you, this may be, there may be another part coming up because my Dollar Tree was out of a number of items. So this is just a quick video of a, a lot of things that I get a lot of frequently and a couple new finds that I found really excited about. Uh, so let me know what you think. Well, I figured I would start at the outside of the store. That's where they get you with the pool noodles. There are so many hacks for these. I like to cut them in little two inch sections and use them for the pond. You can just slide a little plant through it. It lets the roots go into the water and kind of lets it float like a little tiny floaty. This is also used for pond plants and you can get them so much cheaper than plant baskets that you would get at the garden store or pond store. And you, they come in so many different sizes. The three packs are fun too. Well, flip-flops, I just thought I would throw this in here because, well, if you have a fish room and you're always, you know, dropping water, make sure you get some flip-flops. These solar lights, there's a lot of hacks for these too. I like to just take off the top and put it on top of a water garden. This is my one of my favorite, favorite buckets and I get a bunch of them at the beginning of the summer because of, yes, that little guy right there because it's so great for scooping up sand at the bottom of your uh, aquarium if you're changing your substrates especially. These are little larger buckets, what, two gallon or something like that, and they're also really great and really cheap because we go through these a lot. This one I'm kind of thinking out loud, I don't think there's any drainage holes in it. You want to make sure that there are not because I would use these as plant grow-outs. I currently have uh, a lot of plants in tanks and you just don't need to do it. Just get yourself Tupperwares or planters. These I don't think I've seen before, but I think they're quite fascinating. They stack and that spout, I think these would make perfect fish filler up bags. If you bag and sell your own fish, I think that would be great. Just make sure the spout is completely in the bag first. This is one of my favorite uh, cheap lids. You just get a, a frame, you use the glass and the frame if you want to. Just be really careful that it doesn't break, but they come in so many different sizes and uh, even for nano tanks, it would work out great in the pinch. This is a poster board. You can get in blues, uh, black, probably white too. And if you just like to cut your own background, really great uh, just to use. This is another, I don't think I've seen these before, but I think this would work out great in a pond as well. If you have a larger one, make sure you get some drainage holes and uh, you could load up a whole lot of plants. This, it, if you aquascape, you definitely need a water spritzer and they are so cheap here you can uh, keep your plants from dying while you're aquascaping. And while you're aquascaping, you will need a super glue. You wanna get the super glue gel, and you can get a whole bunch of it here, load up, because if you're like my super glue, it, uh, it disappears. This is a great hack I heard from somebody. You can add sand, especially in little, little spots and little nooks and crannies, use these little uh, condiment things. And the handy chamois, which has been out forever in my store, is finally back in stock to soak up water spills. These I thought were really great because they're so tiny. If you buy fish, if you go to a swap, have a few of these in your car. Well, it's great in the summer anyways if you buy some groceries, but I thought they were really cute and tiny. Toothbrushes, just thought I would throw this in there. I'm sure a lot of people already use toothbrushes to clean off your driftwood or uh, anything besides your tanks. They're so useful, but they come in a whole lot of different colors and they're really cheap. Combs, multiple uses for combs. I like to comb off the duckweed at the top of the tank and I also like to cut them up in little pieces and they're like little stakes to hold down, especially like micro sword and other plants that the little critters like to uh, up, up uh, root from the bottom of the tank. Now I'm looking for, I couldn't find them, the little jelly, what are they called? Jelly spirals. I love to cut these in little sections. I have them everywhere and I like to attach a plant to driftwood. It's a really super simple way to do it if you don't want any commitment. In the automotive section, I finally found them. They are back in stock. These are great for a background for a nano tank or get a bunch of them for a larger tank, put it on the outside of the tank. You could probably even cover it with something fish safe to have it inside, but it actually is three dimensional, which is great. 
big bummer they were out of my little handheld paintbrush holders. Oh well, I'll try next time. And last of all, but not least, acrylic paint if you like to paint the background of your tanks. Just they usually don't have black, I'll warn ya. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little brief lunchtime walkabout that I did at the Dollar Tree. I know I had fun. A couple of those items I'm going to be going back for and I'm going to be buying multiples of because I, I don't know about you, but I love when an item stacks and they stack and that's so you can get a bunch of them. So people around your house steal them and you can still have more. But let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite Dollar Tree item and uh, what was your favorite. Have a great day.